Tim Thomas's journey to the NHL was truly remarkable. After years spent in the minors and bouncing back and forth overseas, he took the hockey world by storm in 2005. But after he dominated the 2011 Stanley Cup playoffs, he seemingly disappeared. Rumors swirled about his whereabouts and mental state, but after years of silence, Thomas finally spoke out. In today's video, we revisit his impressive career and uncover the mystery that has surrounded the Bruins legend for the past decade. Let's dive in. Born and raised in Flint, Michigan, Thomas later attended high school in Davison, Michigan. Growing up in a challenging economic environment shaped Thomas's character. To support his hockey journey, his parents, Kathy and Tim Sr., had to make sacrifices, including selling Kathy's wedding ring. Despite facing financial constraints, Tim had the opportunity to play alongside former Boston Bruin Brian Ralston on travel teams for a few years. Eventually, due to the high cost costs associated with travel teams, Tim shifted his focus to high school hockey, where he found success and even secured a state championship win with his school team. Upon completing high school, Thomas embarked on his hockey journey at the University of Vermont. Throughout his four-year tenure from 1993 to 1997, he amassed an impressive record of 81 wins, 43 losses, and 15 ties, showcasing exceptional goaltending skills with a goals against average of 2.70 and an extraordinary save percentage of 934. His outstanding performance secured him a spot in the NCAA Division I record books, ranking third for career saves with an impressive tally of 3,950. In 1996, he led the nation in save percentage, boasting a remarkable 924, while also leading the UVM Catamounts alongside Martin Sandler Louis to multiple NCAA tournament appearances, including a notable berth in the 1996 NCAA Frozen Four. Thomas's prowess on the ice earned him recognition as a two-time All-ECAC Conference selection and a two-time NCAA East All-American. His legacy at Vermont is undeniable, holding the top position among two goalies in various categories, including games played with 140 40, wins with 81, and saves with 3,950. In the 1994 NHL Draft, Tim Thomas was selected by the Quebec Nordiques as the 217th overall pick in the ninth round. However, despite being drafted, Thomas did not play for the Nordiques, and it took him a challenging eight years before he finally made his debut in the NHL. Thomas began his professional career in North America during the 1997 98 season, but it was brief. He played just one game for the Houston Arrows in the IHL and six games for the Birmingham Bulls in the ECHL. Following this stint, he ventured overseas to play for HIFK in the Finnish Elite League. During his time with HIFK, Thomas demonstrated his exceptional skills, boasting a remarkable 947 save percentage and a mere 1.62 goals against average. He he recorded 13 wins in 18 regular season starts and maintained a flawless 9-0 record in the playoffs, ultimately leading his team to clinch the league championship. The 1998-99 hockey season closely mirrored the previous one for Tim Thomas. Beginning in the AHL with the Hamilton Bulldogs, he played just 15 games before returning to Finland to join HIFK once more. In the subsequent 1999-2 2000 season, Thomas spent the entirety of it with the Detroit Vipers in the IHL. However, his performance that season was lackluster, leading to his decision to return to Europe for the following two seasons. During the 2002-03 season, Thomas played 35 games for the Providence Bruins. The highlight of this season was his long-awaited start in the National Hockey League. On October 19, 2002, Thomas made his NHL debut against 
the Edmonton Oilers, securing a 4-3 victory in his first game. Despite this initial success, he only played a total of four games for the Boston Bruins that season. In the subsequent 2003-04 season with the Providence Bruins, Thomas once again displayed impressive statistics with a 941 save percentage and a 1.84 goals against average. These remarkable numbers marked his best performance in the AHL up to that point, signaling his readiness for the NHL. Unfortunately for Tim Thomas, his NHL debut was delayed by a season due to the NHL lockout. During this time, he returned to Finland where he played an outstanding 54 games for Helsinki. Thomas showcased his exceptional skills with an impressive 15 shutouts, a remarkable 1.58 goals against average, and an outstanding 946 save percentage. Upon his return to Boston after the lockout, Thomas finally had the opportunity to prove himself in the NHL. Despite not delivering exceptional numbers in his first season, Thomas's hard work and dedication paid off. He seized the starting role due to injuries and never looked back. Thomas maintained his position as the Bruins' starting goaltender for the next three seasons, with a brief interruption in 2009-2010 when he yielded the role to Tuka Rask. However, on April 2, 2009, Thomas's perseverance was rewarded when he signed a lucrative four-year, $20 million contract extension with Boston. Additionally, he achieved a significant milestone by winning his first of two Vesna trophies that season, solidifying his status as one of the premier goaltenders in the NHL. The 2010-2011 NHL season was truly extraordinary for Tim Thomas. Despite undergoing hip surgery during the offseason, he returned to the ice as a dominant force. Thomas showcased his exceptional goaltending skills throughout the season, appearing in 57 games and achieving a remarkable record of 36 wins, 11 losses, and 9 ties. He recorded an impressive 9 shutouts with a stellar 2.00 goals against average and an outstanding 938 save percentage. Thomas's performance reached new heights during the 2011 playoffs, leading the Boston Bruins to the Stanley Cup Final. Throughout the playoffs, he set multiple records, including the most saves in a single postseason with 798 and the most saves in a Stanley Cup Final with 238. Remarkably, he surrendered only eight goals in the seven-game series, establishing a new NHL record. His phenomenal 967 save percentage in the Stanley Cup Final also set an NHL record. Thomas's outstanding contributions earned him the Conn Smythe Trophy as the playoff MVP, the Vesna Trophy for the league's best goaltender, and most importantly, the Stanley Cup. However, following the Stanley Cup victory, Tim Thomas found himself in peculiar circumstances. He stirred controversy by opting out of the Bruins' visit to the White House, a customary celebration following their 2011-12 NHL championship win. Thomas, a staunch supporter of the Tea Party political movement, decided to boycott the event, leading to friction between him and the Bruins organization. On June 3, 2012, Thomas made an unexpected announcement that he would be taking a break from hockey for the season. He stated that he wanted to prioritize his connections with friends, family, and faith, referring to them as the three Fs. Consequently, the Bruins suspended Thomas, and later, his rights were traded to the New York Islanders. He then concluded his NHL career with stints with the Florida Panthers and the Dallas Stars. Until 2019, Tim Thomas maintained a low profile, staying away from the public eye since his exit from the NHL. However, this changed when he was honored with his induction into the U.S. Hockey Hall of Fame. It marked his first public appearance since leaving hockey in 2014. During his induction, Thomas struggled to hold back tears as he recounted the brain damage he suffered from a concussion sustained in his final NHL season. In an interview with ESPN, he opened up about his struggles with post-traumatic concussion syndrome, revealing how it impaired his cognitive abilities. Thomas admitted, My brain wasn't functioning well enough to keep up with the game, so I retreated to the woods for a few years. I didn't watch much hockey. There's not much TV out there. Fast forward to 2024 and Tim Thomas has slowly begun 
to make his way back into the public eye and into hockey. Initially hesitant to participate in the Boston Bruins centennial season celebrations, Thomas has had a change of heart and is now slated to make his highly anticipated return to TD Garden. Moreover, Thomas has shown increased involvement in community initiatives in recent years. When Vermont experienced severe flooding in July 2023, Thomas and his wife Melissa played an active role in rebuilding a local youth center that was devastated by the floods. Their efforts were crucial in restoring the center after it endured nearly six inches of water and suffered damage to its electrical system. Overall, it seems that Tim Thomas is now in a much better place mentally compared to previous years. Currently, he appears content living a quieter life away from the hockey spotlight and the public eye, which had become somewhat unwelcoming for him following the peak of his NHL career. If you like this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Drop us a comment below and let us know your favorite memory of Tim Thomas. See you in the next one.